Kids, I know it wasn't uh, originally expected to be a main event, but it is a main event. Uh, does it feel like a, a big moment or a big opportunity to be in the headliner again? Yeah, a big opportunity. Um, I'm owing to my main events <laughs> here at the Apex. So um, when they gave me the another opportunity, I was like, okay, let's do it. Um, I wanted like the crowd. I was excited to be in North Carolina, Charlotte, the crowd. Um, so I have like a little bit trauma, I guess you could say here, but I wanted to break that too at the same time. So back here, I've had good moments at the Apex too, so I'm not complaining. And it's media, it's, you know, another poster, you know, to have at home. So it's a great opportunity and I'm, oh, it's one week later too, so it's not so bad. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess the fact that you're 0-2 in main events, I mean, is there any link there at all? I mean, look, you're, you're fighting at the highest level. You're going to have setbacks or whatever, but they both happen to be. It's just coincidence, or is there anything you take out of those that you think, I wasn't approaching that right? Um, I mean, I don't think as, like, a strategy-wise, but I think the type of fighters that I was given for my main events, Marina and Yun Shaonan, I think they were both um, really experienced um, fighters uh, with good – Movement, you know, and for me, now going into this fight and with my loss, um, I have a vision that's better as in like, okay, I don't need to submit every single round, like this pressure and just this anxiety. And not, not anxiety, but like excitement, you know, I need to submit, I need to submit, you know. If I didn't finish the first round, then the second round, if I didn't finish the, and then you could kind of see the emotion and the frustration getting in. And I'm like, okay, these girls, they know how to win by like, points you know they know how to use the rule book which is part of the game you know not that it's bad but um you know the judges I feel like with the unshine and I feel like I could have won that fight you know like I feel I did so much on the ground but it wasn't enough to get like a 10-8 and now I understand like hey if I'm on the cage you know the cage is like the ground but up you know so instead of getting to the cage and take it down like ground and like not ground and pound, but elbows, knees, make them, you know, win the round. You know, don't force myself to, you know, fall on bottom or something. So a little bit like tactical things that I think this fight it's really gonna show, and um, but not necessarily because of five rounds or three rounds. I think just with the opponents they brought that out of me, and I think I felt I was confident. I was more confident about submitting Young Shannon and Marina than I was about Angela. You know what I mean? I think Angela is a little bit harder to submit. She's scrappy, you know, and things like that. And they, I was so I was so confident to submit them, and I wanted to submit them that it was a little bit like too excited, you know, instead of more stretch, patience and calm and precision. You talk about, like, the tactic change and the mindset change. Like, have you been able to work on that, like, in sparring? Like, has that been the primary focus, or is it like, I hope I do it on Saturday? Yeah. No, it's, I've been working on that this whole camp. It's been so crazy. Like, my divorce has been crazy. Like, everything... Coach Perilla, he was out of town for a month with Luke for his bare-knuckle fight, you know? So it's like... Basically, this camp was like tactic in having this vision of fighting that I'd never had before. And I feel kind of like, man, I'm like 10 fights in the UFC and I just found that out now, you know, like to understand that I just need to win the round. And if you do that each round, you win the fight, <laughs> you know, instead of me thinking like I would finish the round and out of one minute, I'd spend maybe 20 seconds. Like, did I win that round? You know, like at this level, the top five, top 10, you can't, you can't finish the round and not know if you won or not, you know? You need to be leaving the round and know like, yeah, I'm winning here, I'm losing here, okay, what I needed to to steal the round. Okay, what are the judges seeing, you know? And that's kind of the tactic that I was able to train on this camp since it was so crazy, was more like understanding the MMA game and that we do use the judges and we do like steal things, you know, you steal the round and do this and have that instead of me going for submission and falling on bottom and maybe they steal the round at the end, you know? Uh, in talking about the matchup, it sounds like you have a lot of respect for Angela as an opponent. Is that safe to say? Yeah, for sure. I mean, she has more than 30 fights, I think. So it's like, and I don't, I'm not 100% sure, but I think she was like in the house, the ultimate fight of the house with the OG girls of the division. I think she was like later cut, and then I think she came back in, and now she's worked all the way up here. So I definitely think with everything she's gone through, um, I'm finding the best version of Angela right now, you know, so I'm happy about that because, you know, the better, the better the opponent, the higher the fight is, you know, the better you, you, you get pushed. 
But um, yeah, I mean, she has experience. I think she, a lot of her fights are like by decision or her wins or her losses. So she's not a girl that I want to mess up my tactic, which is why I lost my two main events in my mind, you know, how I see it. She's definitely someone that I don't want to let her get ahead. I don't want her to get her rhythm because I see her kind of start to flow when she gets her rhythm. And she's scrappy, you know, she doesn't, she doesn't give up, you know, she doesn't, she's not easy to submit or knock out. Um, so that's why I have like this respect for her, you know, but, and also too, like I said, when I was confident I was going to submit, I didn't submit. I did everything but the submission, you know, um, so now definitely for this fight, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming with a lot of aggression, you know, from my personal life and everything. So nothing personal against Angela, but I know I have a lot of respect for her, but I need to, I need to get it done. You're technically the, the, the higher ranked fighter, obviously, you know, she's a veteran, but are you thinking about ranking? Because before you had the setbacks, we were talking about title shots. And where, are you thinking about that stuff at all, or do you, have you found maybe it's better to just not think about that stuff? No, for sure I'm thinking about it. You know, I'm, I'm, I just turned 30. I'm feeling like I'm getting to my best, like, physically, mentally, experience, maturity level right now, like 30, 31. So I'm – the 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 – the path to the belt is like, trying. I'm trying to make it as clear as possible. You know, I don't want to. I don't want anything. I feel like so many things are trying to like kind of bring me down. I change managers. It's like the divorce, the you know, the gym. There's so much stuff going on that I don't want something to take me off of my course. Um, but to stay on course, I need to have a plan. You know, and so it's not like I'm looking past Angela, but I do want to know. Okay, if I lose, who would be? Who, if I win, who would be this? And especially with like Virna, who beat Marina, and Marina beat me, and I beat Virna, and then Yun beat. You know, it's just so much stuff happened. The vision. Um, I see myself in there. You know, and I know I feel more confident. Like, yeah, I'm supposed to be there. You know, I just need to get back on the winning streak. Um, but. I mean, I don't know, Rose, or even a, a second with Yan Shanan, or I know Carlos pregnant, but so that's great. But um, yeah, definitely planning like the next steps to the belt. Right. Last thing for me, uh, I'm sure ideally, even though you're not pushing the submission, you get a submission. But it sounds like you're you're prepared to go all five rounds. So I guess what do you what do you anticipate? I mean, do you think this is going to end up being a five round battle? I don't think it'll be five rounds. I don't think it'll be the first round, but um, I think we'll be within like three three rounds as a submission. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Mackenzie. Hi. Um, how was it fighting in front of Mark Zuckerberg last time out? <laughs> yeah, it was cool. It was cool, but it that see that was like more crazy to me than this like changing one week later to main event. You know, that was like okay, main event. I trained so hard for this fight. You know, and then Tuesday they called me. Like Tuesday, I'm already driving out. My family's coming. Oh, it's closed. You know, and I'm like, uh, you know, and then I'm like, shoot, like. The apex is already like quiet, you know, but then it's even more quiet, you know, where you can just kind of hear things. So um, that was a little bit. And then the whole medium thing, media, I think I said something I wasn't supposed to say. I wasn't sure. And I was like getting calls. So that was a little bit like crazy for me during the fight week. But it was fun. It was it was a great opportunity. I got to meet him and his wife. And um, yeah, it's good. I saw that he just competed, too. So it's really cool to see him as a supporter of the sport. I think you said in, a, in an interview a few months ago, like you want to return to your like your finishing race, right? You just want to go in there and finish, mm -hmm. finish your girls. Like, what is that? Just because like that's what you're known for, or is it just kind of like a mindset where you're just like, you know, I am I am so good on the ground. Like, why not? Why am I not using that? Yeah, bo both, both. In my jiu-jitsu career, I was very like um, forward pace, you know, always going for submissions, and that was just kind of like how I was known in jiu-jitsu. Um, I always think like. It's better to be attacking and them defending than them getting them to defend me. So that's just my insight. But also to, I mean, like I said, I, like I want to be the champion. That's my goal, number one goal. But I don't want to be just like a champion that people are going to forget about, you know, in a couple of years or something like that. You know, I want to be remembered. So if that's like I need to have the most submissions like Charlie's de Bronx and have some break some records, then that's what I want. If that's the way I do it by submissions, which I think I have all the – capability of doing then that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna do and also too I think it's just when you go out with that mentality to submission it's like the amount of girls that have that defense or that they get nervous with that you know it helps so much you know to know that these strikers like I know I'm gonna find one striker that's not gonna be scared and they're gonna like come at me but when you have that presence and you know that they're not letting they're not letting go 100% on you while they're striking because they're nervous of your of your of the ground, 
um, I need to take advantage of that, you know, and that's, I don't want to lose that, you know, I want to keep, like, hey, if I take it to the ground, I will go for it, it's just, it almost kind of gives me an overconfidence that, okay, I'll submit, and then, like Marina and Jan, I'm doing, like, switching from omoplata to the katagatami to the armbar to the, you know, I'm doing all these submissions, and I, they defend, like, not even defend, they kind of resist one, and then I'm like, okay, I'll get the next one, and then all of a sudden the round stops, and we step back up again, and I didn't get anything, and it, I wasn't able to get, like, a 10-8 round, because it's not really impactful, you know, no one knows how deep Doma Plata is, only I know, you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's kind of like, just that mentality, like, okay, whatever submission I go for, go for it, and if they don't give it to me, like, ground and pound, <laughs> you know, until they give it to me, you know, make them want to give it to me um, instead of forcing it and being like overconfident, like, okay, we'll get on the next one and the next one and then the time's over and then I have to go through everything again. <laughs> sure. well, thank you for that. Um, and finally, uh, the next strawweight title fight was announced yesterday. Whaley John's going to fight Amanda Lemos. I just wanted your thoughts on that matchup. Yeah, I think Amanda Lemos is going to win, you know, she's, she's tough. Um, yeah, she's strong. She's a good, like, counter puncher. Um, I think she's going get, to get the win. And I think, she's, I think she has ground game, too. <laughs> so I, th I think she'll get it. But it'll be a good fight. I'm excited. Thank you. Yeah. Mackenzie, thanks for taking the time. Mm -hmm. Just uh, curious, when you – I don't think you said no to anybody. But when you got the call, the details about, okay, it's going to be uh, – we're going to go from three to five. It's going to be your main event. Mm -hmm. You had touched on, you know, like, ah, main events, haven't come, I've come up short. Do you see this as, like, perfect? I want that redemption. This is exactly what I wanted to right the wrongs. Now I do. <laughs> now I do. Now that I'm here, you know, seeing all you guys, and I'm, there's nowhere to run, you know, I'm like, yeah, okay, this is the time. Now I got this, you know. But as soon as they were telling me the offer, like, my heart was kind of like, you know, the trauma, you know, everything has like superstition and all these things and with everything going around on, because my camp was so crazy, you know, I was like, man, I really wanted, since I did lose two, I wanted my next main event to be with a well-trained camp so I don't lose. But I mean, I think that everything happens for a reason. And, you know, I think this was the, the opportunity and I wasn't going to say no to it, you know, because then I'm just kind of running away from my fears, you know, like fears as in, I mean, I know if I lose, well, it's not going to be like the end of the world, you know, but I want to win, you know, and I don't want to not win because, oh, my camp was this or camp was that or because my mind was, I was nervous, you know, I wanted to win like independent of all that, you know, because I'm, I, I, ha I have the ability to win, you know, independent of everything that's going on. So definitely I was like a little bit anxious and like, I don't know if I should do it. I, could, I should stay the crowd. I was kind of hoping my next main event would be in front of a crowd, you know, um, not back at the apex. But if this was, if this was opportunity to give it to me, I think there's a reason for it, for me to like go and break it, you know. Excellent. Sounds great. Yeah. And uh, lastly for me, with everything going around, I'm assuming that once you make that walk, then you'll be like, okay, I've been here many times. All the chaos outside of, of my life, like this is what I know and what I was born to do. Yep. Yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly what got me like to say like, okay, let's do it, you know, because I was looking so forward. Even, even me fighting in Charlotte, I mean, it was almost kind of like, I don't know, like an escape for me a little bit in a way to get away from everything. Like, okay, it's just three rounds, you know. Um, I'm going to kind of just, I even kind of disappeared from my social media for a little bit um, because of everything. And I was kind of just get back in the win streak, you know. There won't be that much media. You know, there's lots of good fighters on there. So get my win and then get everything organized. So it was even, even like that, it was kind of like I was doing, like having an escape for what, everything that was going on with me. And this is just like, I have to face it head on. And being in the fight, I'm looking so forward to being like 25 minutes just doing what I love to do, you know, and, you know, like adversity, you know, that's what I need, you know, I don't want it to be easy for me, you know, so in a way I was kind of like trying to hide from it, you know, but um, the best way is just to face it on and that's what I'm looking for, like you said, like to be in there 25 minutes, I'm not worrying about MOA, I'm not worrying about whatever's going on in my personal life, I'm just worrying about hitting Angela Hill and beating her. <laughs> Nothing personal, though. <laughs> Excellent. Sounds great, and good luck on Saturday. Oh, thank you.